Greetings everyone, and Greg here with another Thriller 3 replay. Spawn on the right side as the Yellow Soviets, we have Demon. Spawn on the left side as the Red Empire player, we have ASDFGHJK. Period. So I got a triple Dojo Core opener, or Fire's now coming on out. Over here, we got the Barracks going for Flak Troopers? Baron to Flak Troopers. Why Flak Troopers? I think he wants to destroy Dojo Cores. But two Flak Troopers is actually quite a bit of expense. Actually, he's just trying to destroy the oil there. Not trying to capture, just trying to destroy it. Bonza charge pushing way forward. You got at least one uh, garrison in here. This the flak trooper will go down. Up north, we do got Collins because pushing way forward. Any engineer? No engineer. He's trying to destroy the the oil decks outright. Both of those garrisons will be cleared, but it's a favorable trade for the Soviet player. The Temple of Temple Prime has been claimed, but there's a lack of nod. Does throw some Molotovs in there. Now he's going to try charging into the garrison. Very good micro there. Terror drones being on on the prowl. The oil derrick has not been claimed. Northern oil derrick has been claimed by red. We also got sickle as well. Jet to go flying on forward. Will spot the sickle, but I don't think he spotted the uh, terror drone just yet. Sickle here, ready to jump on in. And, well, there's actually no wall segment on the other side, so he jumped in, walked out, trying to avoid the Jet Tengus. I'm not sure where the turret drone may have went. Has jumped inside that wall segment now. Does sell off some of them. Does get some nice uh, snares there, very nice. And he was going to try, he's going to push out the sea trying to deal with that terror drone. He does have the Pekka Bay here, so he can get rid of the terror drone. And the reactor C will be spotted and destroyed. We do have a ore refinery and Tesla coil right there. And you will maintain the snare in the Mecha Tengu. Does get snared there. And nice uh, chain snares. I don't know how to describe it. Or stutter step. Oops. Hit my microphone. Great uh, stutter, great micro there. And he's gonna jump down and try to get it. And does get destruction before the impact. Hammer tank making his way forward and some mall tops as well. He has avoided it and does get the crush off there. Nice drive of the bonsai charge. And he does get the garrison there. We do have the hammer tank trying to engage these uh, mecha tengus. And 
And this Mechatiku is actually severely wounded. And, ooh, does go down to the Flak Trooper that's inside the garrison. Very nice placement of Flak Trooper there. I was wondering where he, why he was so much so damaged. Oh, that was probably multiple reasons why they could have been damaged. That uh, Imperial Warrior does get cleaned on up. Does get out of the garrison in time. And these conscripts do get hit a bit, but they do escape, and he does get the garrison cleaned out entirely. And those people are destroy. Nope, he's going to garrison it now. And I keep hitting my microphone. Sorry about that. Over here, hammer tank is pushing way forward while the conscripts are on eyes from garrisons. There's three tsunami tanks here. Satellites, I think that's level one satellites being pulled on in. Point of funds drones have been deployed. This hammer tank's on the wrong side and will be cleaned on up. Oh, does get a terror drone infect there. Going to be slowly picking away these tsunami tanks. But we've got tank buses here, and Bear will be focused down. Bear, or, but wasn't being focused down enough. we got Bonsai Charge pushing away forward. There are five Tsunami Tanks, while well, there's only four su uh, Hammer Tanks. The Terradrome can do some great work in order to help split up this force. Does that get infected there? Does get actually destroyed, so they no re-emergence. Another infect there. And does get emergence out of there, but could have got another infect, but wasn't was being microed away. Bear and Terra Drone does go down. And the same conscriber is doing its best as work it can get. It's not as his fault that AK-47 in this game is not very good. It does go in Charger 4, does go out that one conscript. Uh, Temple Prime is going to hit. Temple Prime may actually fully be, be decrewed or destroyed now. And does get the kills there on the Pure Warriors. Looks like he's going to destroy the Temple Prime so it gets better uh, surface area there. Now it's definitely destroyed. It's a, it was a uh, front to Kane. It's the wrong Temple Prime. We do got a single Stingray here. Very nice. Sting Stingrays are pretty effective. And Amphibious. I check Tengu is going to be going for a nice concert run. There is a Tesla Coil here as well as down here. And this World Deck was claimed by the Soviet player. And this one was claimed by the Empire player. This one has not been healed up though. So the scene rate does go down to the yard mini subs. Must have been focusing firing on the orc refinery. Terra drone looks like it goes down. That's a lot of hammer tanks. Yari mini sub does suicide bomb on the on the Akula sub, and that will finish off the Akula sub. We do got some satellites coming in. It's the level one triple Sputnik, and was enough to take out the refinery. Very nice. It's starting to leach down some of these structures just for a bit of health. Uh, force firing it's not exactly what you want to do either. Leaching I can see, but force firing it not so much. So we have a guy in there. Navy Dockyard is being deployed. Maybe he's for some more Stingray.
Jetting Boo receives quite a bit of fire, does make escape on out of there. The bear does get shot up a bit and will likely be cleaned up. Both sides just sitting on up. We do got an ore refinery here, so but this one is gone as well. So the economy is relatively even. And so cool sub could do some good work there. We got a single bear. You got a very important mission. Not to die and go for a good scout run. And immediately goes to the low ground. This bear will manage to escape on through. We got the civil structure still actually cares about that civil conscript. Bear is dead. Or not. Bear is still alive. Conscript goes down. Bear is dead. Down south, the Soviet players make his advance. We'll be able to clear out these garrisons no problem. Looks like there's no tank hunters in these, or tank busters inside these garrisons. An engineer has been uh, ejected. Now there will be both refineries for the Soviet player. And remember the beginning game, he just tried to outright destroy it. A cool sub. Does go down to the Yari mini subs. No more satellites onto that uh, nail dockyard either. Jet tank, jet tank is uh, looming around. Do we have a cash bounty over here? Oh, he lost his uh, refinery. Wonder how that happened. He does have crusher crane, so we're going to crush this uh, ore collector for a thousand five hundred cash rebate. And that engineer was unescorted and gets killed off by a bear. Luckily, he's been constantly sending out these bears for scout runs. The bear, however, will go down. Or not. Oh, looks like satellites do coming down there, getting great, a very good amount of kills. No, that wasn't satellites, those were V4s. I don't know why, I thought that seemed like satellites, but like the level 1 satellites again. Another cool sub switch will forward. We'll spot the Shogun Battleship. Does spot this refinery core. Oh, nope, he doesn't get it before he packs, uh, uh, deploys. Going for a mass leech. Tsunami tanks push the way forward. There's a lot of support infantry here. Does he have a desolated airstrike? But oh, the, cl the uh, cluster shot from the V4 is doing some great work there. Hammer tanks going to discharge forward. We've got a lot of uh, tsunami tanks looking on for discharging the Jeff Tangus. Some infects there by uh, uh, Terra Drone supplies. And great hits there by the V4s. Is there any veterans here on the V4s? One of them has spent one. And that was at Elite. There is... Oh, that was, that was, that was a pinpoint shot. It was actually pretty successful. But there is a King Oni here as well. Bull Charge claims the vet to uh, V4. And we do have this uh, uh, Shogun Battle should push the way forward as well. Let's get the snare there on the King Oni. Why is it this person shot? And the Terror Drone does go down to that single Imperial Warrior. We got some extra guns and some of these hammer tanks. Three of them has extra guns. Shogun Battleship is still alive and the Yari Misa does get uh, infected but does Nice little body block there, and that's one way to get rid of a Terra Drone. 
he really want to get that terror drone down because he wants. Wait, the crew. There's there was a Natasha out in the field. That must have been Yuri. Yuri Minisa must have took out Natasha. Sorry, I missed that Natasha going down. Hammer tank starting to push his way forward. Or around the flank. Not necessarily being too aggressive. We've got another cool sub ready to engage the Shogun battleship, but it looks like he's going to send the Akuro subs to the space. This is going to throw me off because that color scheme is way too similar. Can't use the ultra torpedoes with that uh, Shogun battleship way in front of the Shogun battleship. That's usually something I don't have to say. The Shogun battleship's body block the Shogun battleship. Oh, there is a Natasha. Did, was it rebuilt or was she already? Ah, it was inside of a bullfrog. Oh, there's a Shogun battleship in the area. Right here. He needs to pull out barracks and get out a pair of engineers onto those Shogun battleships. We're building ore refinery there. This one's still collecting. This one. Ultra Torpedo is supposed to utilize, but misses. But it does use the satellites. Not sure what level satellites. It could be a bet two. No, bet one. Not bet one. Uh, level one. Multiple key owners are pushed away forward. There is at least one Apocalypse tank I saw somewhere. It may have been charged to death. We've got Wave Force Artillery trying to deal with these uh, terror drones. He needs a Desolator to strike. There's the Apocalypse tank. B Force needs pinpoint rockets to hit those King Onis, but it does use a wise person to hit the infantry. There's a guy that makes them. The Bullfrogs do go down, but there's no Air Force currently deployed. Terror drone will slowly kill off that King Oni. One pinpoint rest cluster. We do got a engineer here. Multiple V force going on down. Great roar there by the bears. We got knocked back there. Terror drone does come on out, but it's currently floating the air. It does go down. Maybe it's a good idea to get out uh, harpoon lands. Twin blades pushing his way forward. Twin blades perhaps hit. Oh wait, no, he does take up the wave force artillery. Did he claim the gun? He did not claim the gun. So that force will be cleaned on up. We've now got the jet tangles coming on in. Does take up the twin blades? All the twin blades go down. He still has this engineer to capture some of these carcasses. The bullfrogs. Does one of these bullfrogs have Natasha? Does crush an ore collector there? This ore refinery does go down. This one's down. This one's up. that power one goes down. These 3,000, 3,250. So those are very low. But is Natasha dead, or is she inside one of these bullfrogs? There's another Shogun battleship. I haven't seen anything deployed out by a uh, bullfrog just yet. So Natasha may be dead. Final location goes down, it's going to sell off that, uh, or crush that ore collector. Tank Buster, Ambush, uh, Surprise, uh, Sleeper Ambush coming out in. And now we do have the Balloon Bomb, an unusual item, being deployed on out as well. I plan crushing his own walls right there. Does get one of the tank busters. Mega tank goes to go down. This uh hammer takes severely wounded. That hammer 
but in a heroic hammer tank does go down. War collector. Actually, he didn't crush yet and can immediately use it. Very nice. Multiple King Oni has been deployed on out. Cool sub still over here. This cool sub could camp this northern point as well. And that does uh, go down. I think it netted him a gun. Yeah, there's a gun right on this heroic one. Both the heroic ones have extra guns. This unvetted one does have no gun. I really do believe he needs to get out of engineers to claim these Shogun battleships. I can help him siege this stuff from the sea. He... Twin Blade dropped a hammer tank on top of Wave Force artillery. When does that ever happen? War rushes the Apocalypse tanks to death. Twin Blades large, are largely uncontested. The Wolf Frogs are in their area. But he's going to push on forward. Now he'll be focused down, trying to get these uh, King Oni, who can quickly kill off these bullfrogs. We've got another hammer tank, or apocalypse tank. We do have these three hammer tanks pushing way forward. Apocalypse tanks pushing forward, trying to crush the infantry. Twin blades are pushing forward as well. We do got all of those jet tankers go down. Twin blades are now uncontested. MCC trying to push on forward, trying to crush some of this infantry, but Maker just sees a flash there by their super reactor. So the super reactor doesn't get you know, sold off in time. MCC sees some great crushes there. Jack Tanker does go down. The King Ponies are down as well. The Empire is not de depleted, and with that, he's out of steam. And that is the end of the replay. This is John, or Angrade saying thank you for watching and signing off.